I'm going to be presenting a webinar on uh, my paper with Alec uh, Zhu on uh, the electronic evolution of corporate bond dealers. Um, this paper really is looking at the new mechanisms for trading bonds electronically. As is probably well known, most corporates, at least in the United States and in many countries, trade in dealer markets. But dealer markets have struggled a bit since the crisis. And so there are a lot of really interesting questions about how well bond markets are doing. And in particular, how have the new electronic means to trade really affected bonds? And so in this paper, we have data from a, the largest electronic platform in the United States called Market Access. And we investigate how the RFQ or request for quote market works. And what we do in this paper is we look at the benefits of the electronic trading. Uh, I'll give you a hint, there's some really interesting ones. Uh, in general, electronic trading has made things much better and we'll try and show you that evidence. But there are some interesting costs to this as well. And it explains, I think, uh, our results, a puzzle, which is that electronic trading in most asset classes has taken over. That hasn't happened in bonds. And what we do is we show some reasons why that hasn't happened in bonds. So I hope you'll join us for the seminar.